I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to calculate volume of a cone. So I will take two examples. Uh, let me sketch a cone first here. Let's say this is one cone. Okay, so let's say this is a cone whose radius is say 5 centimeters and height is 10 centimeters okay so we have a cone with radius of 5 centimeters and height of 10 centimeters we need to find the volume of this cone well the formula for volume is volume is equals to one third of pi r square h so that's the formula so you can always apply the formula calculate and get the answer right so that's one thing we'll also consider another cone which is filled with ice cream let's say let's say we have another cone here okay so let's sketch one and it has some ice creams like filled with ice cream like a hemisphere on the top let's think like this okay so let's say this is a hemisphere and we need to find the volume of the ice cream in this particular case okay so let this be uh, the radius in this case be let's say 4 centimeter and let the height be 10 centimeters okay so these are two cones and you need to find volume of these cones well the formula is that uh, volume of a cone you know here we have volume of a sphere, right? So we can say volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So we can use these formulas to calculate. Okay, so let's begin our calculations. First for the cone, the volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So in this particular case, r is equal to 5 centimeters height is given to us as 10 centimeter and pi will take value as 3.14 right we'll take 3.14 as the value of pi so volume will be one third of 3.14 r is 5 so it'll be 5 centimeter square and height is 10 centimeter right so when you multiply this units will be centimeter cube okay so let's multiply so we have 3.14 times 5 square times 10 equals to divide by 3 equals to in decimals it is 261.6 recurring centimeter cube and if we round it to whole numbers we get 262 centimeter cube Right. So that's the volume of this particular cone, right? So it's direct application of the formula which we have to do. But remember, we have to take care of the units. It is centimeter cube by root square. Okay, that's why. Let's do the next one. In this particular case, we are looking at two things. First is the volume of the cone and second is volume of the hemispheres half sphere right so we can write this volume as equals to volume of the cone is volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere correct so volume of phone the formula is 1 by 3 pi r square h and half of volume of sphere which is 4 by 3 pi r cube right so half of this okay let's substitute the values we are given radius as 4 centimeters so it is one third of 3.14 r is 4 4 centimeter square times height which is 10 centimeters and then we'll add uh, if you simplify this, you get 2 over 3, right? So we'll write 2 over 3, 3.14, 3 
r is 4 centimeters so we write 4 centimeter cube right so let's use calculator to calculate this value so it is 3.14 times 4 which is radius I should have written centimeter square the whole bracket so 4 square times 10 divided by 3 equals to so we have done the first part and we'll add two-third of this so we'll add within brackets 2 times 3.14 times 4 cube right 4 cube divided by 3 within brackets equals to so total volume of this is 301.44 centimeter cube which you can round to whole numbers as approximately 301 centimeter cube right so i hope you know how to apply the formula for volume in case of a cone so remember the units will be cube of the units of radius or height and that is how you do it i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best